It was Marco's grandmother's birthday, and Marco was planning a big surprise dinner. He had an assistant to help out. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, his assistant was a monkey. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's just a masa. We have more. <laughs> See, masa. You know, cornmeal. That's what I used to make Marco's famous tortillas. See, there's lots of... Uh, uh-oh. I thought we had more. <laughs> if there was one thing George knew how to do, it was to fix things. <laughs> this was the first time he'd broken food, but he knew where food came from. The store. Masa? Oh, I am so sorry. I just sold my last bag. Ow! Hey, it's Uncle Enrique. Uncle Enrique, it's Grandma's birthday. Your abuela's birthday? Muy fantástico. You're going to make your famous tortillas, of course. Of course. Ah. Only... Huh? Only? We're out of masa. Oh, no. No masa, no tortilla. It's true the drought delayed the harvest, but thanks to my water tank, we had just enough to get through. I've been harvesting all day. I'm almost afraid to ask, but you say you've been harvesting all day? Yes. So my question is, do you have corn now? Yes. You must really like corn. <laughs> so they took the corn to the mill, where it was ground into masa and put in bags. Come on, boys. <laughs> then they took the bags to the warehouse where they were packaged for the stores. Huh? Ah, look at that. And to the store, where they filled the shelves for customers. Here you go. Gracias. And finally, to Marco's house. George was surprised. He always knew that Mr. Rankins grew corn, but he didn't realize that the food in the store and in people's homes came from farmers like his friend, Mr. Rankins. She's here! Until that day, George hadn't really thought about how important farmers were to so many people. Surprise! Ay, que bueno! Delicioso, mi amor! Marco's grandmother loved Marco's special tortillas. Mm. This is amazing. What a tortilla. But one person loved them most of all. I could eat a whole stack. Are there more? Oh, ah! Nice.